What's up, people? How are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And I have some good news for you Mac users who have remote management. And basically, you don't have the money to pay for a premium service. <clears throat> now, a premium service is always the best because uh, whichever company is re remotely managed by is no longer remotely managed by because you're paying the premium service. However, I do need to point out that with this, it is fully untethered and it's, it's a fully untethered bypass. And yes, everything on here is activated and it's free. So, you know, say you buy one from, well, it doesn't matter where you buy it from. It could be eBay, it could be Craigslist, Gumtree, Marketplace, doesn't matter. You go through the setup and you get hit with this right here like smack right in the face not a good sight is it no i'm sure we can agree on that right so basically what you do is yeah by continuing you're going to see you know a username or a password depends which type of remote management encryption you have okay because not all of the not all of them are the same they're different the deps are, uh, are different on some to others uh, and that's not just for Macs, that's for iOS devices as well. So obviously we can't go no further. Username, password, well, that's no good. You know, we don't work for the company. So it's quite simple, really. Go back. And what you want to do is basically go to other network options, right? And you want to select... My computer does not connect to the internet. Select this, right? And select continue. And yes, you would like to further this by continuing. And there we go, straight to data and privacy. And just go through the setup now. Not sure if this works on the latest um, operating systems like uh, Monterey, uh, Ventura. Not 100% sure, but if you've got that, then, you know, give it a try. So let's go name, let's go Mac. And obviously just type in a password. Confirm that password. And continue. And welcome to the desktop. Here we are. We're in. Now, obviously, like I said, choose other networks and then continue without the Wi-Fi, even though you may be connected to it at the time. As you can see, I am still connected to it. Yeah. So basically, once you're in the device here, that's pretty much it. You want to head over to System Preferences um now in some some cases what you might see by here is profiles now they're the remote management profiles okay which means uh basically they're the profiles encrypted in the mdm itself mobile device management remote management um there is a way of removing those profiles off your mac uh by putting a, f a few um uh, command strings, uh, installing them into your uh, terminal, just running them, and basically that'll get rid of the profiles if you do have profiles stuck on there. But 
I mean, yeah, other than that, you know, it's basically you're in to prove this fully and tell that, well, first of all, going to Safari, so you know it's connected to the internet and everything. I'm on Google and go for, say, download Mac OS Monterey and get it from the Mac store, the Mac app store. Now I'm using I'm I'm choosing Monterey because I know Ventura is not compatible for bypasses, um, especially with the uh, the premium service. Now, obviously with this service here, as you can see there, I'm gonna just install macOS Monterey, and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, but, you know, everything is fully activated. So you've got the App Store. You've got um, uh, sign into iCloud. Use your iCloud account. Um, most importantly, before I do that, what I'm going to do is shut down. And let's shut down. Just so you can see it's fully untethered. Everything is fully activated on your... And basically, it's free. You're good to go. So, yeah, you know. I mean, yeah, obviously, the premium service, the one you pay for, is uh, is a lot better. Because, you know, it's basically... It's, if you pay for the, the premium one, which is in my other video... Uh, you know, it, it's, it cannot be remotely managed by that company then, see? Now, with with this uh, simple step bypass, it can be, you know? So, yeah, as you can see, I just powered it off, powered it back on again, and I'm straight here. Um, obviously, yeah, if you erase all content and settings, or if you go into your... Um, uh, if you boot into recovery using Command and R... And then you um, erase uh, the main solid state drive. Or it could be a hard drive if it's an older Mac, you know. Um, but it's definitely a good idea. It's definitely, you know, it, like, I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. Most people, you know, it's like, I'll be honest with you. I don't feel comfortable in using this computer knowing it's remotely managed. So I would use the premium service, which is ideal, of course. But, you know, I mean, if, like I said, it's up to you. You know, it's entirely up to you what you do with it um, and and how you use it, basically. You know, so, but yeah, basically everything's on you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install the Mac OS Monterey on here. But, you know, for the premium version, I'll have the link in, in, the, um, in the attachment below my video. If you want to do that one, which is obviously a lot better. But obviously this one's free, you know, if you don't have any money or, you know, whatever the reason. You know, it's entirely up to you. Regarding um, uh, iCloud bypasses, uh, still waiting on 16.2 currently for now. Obviously, um, there is a bypass service available for 16.2 on iOS uh, on a new uh, program called Pale Rain. Um, and basically, if you want to check out Just A Tech, his YouTube channel, he's got a video, or at least one video on there, of it or more. Um, also, if like, for example, check out... Um, if you need software, if you've got um, AWRT regarding Apple Watches and um, you've got the equipment but you don't have the so software, head over to myicloud.info, the website, um, or basically, yeah, and basically follow him at, at device tools on Twitter. 
for software regarding updates on watches. Um, uh, yeah, one other thing. Be sure to use my promo code when purchasing, um, whether you're using uh, uh, MDM for Mac OS from Checkmate or if you're using iPhone or iPad bypasses and because basically you get 10 to 15 percent off your order by using my promo code and my promo code is iCloud Helper 029 that's all one word so yeah if um if you if you want to do a bypass on iOS devices using Checkmate or macOS remote management using Checkmate that's the promo code to use people and yeah so a fully untethered bypass done here everything's you know activated um and yeah basically you're good to go you can install whatever you want put whatever apps on you you want and but obviously if you delete the data erase it then obviously the remote management lock comes back of course what well, it's going to in it so yeah really hope you've liked this video people uh smash a thumbs up um most importantly be sure to subscribe there's plenty more content to come and check out the content i already have i've got a lot on icloud bypasses um apple watch uh fixes apple watch icloud bypasses um Re, re, uh, reprogramming um, iPads that are Wi-Fi only as well. There's there's a video or two on here on my channel about that. And yeah, I'll I'll um basically wait to hear from me in the next video. But I really really hope this video has helped you folks, and you know at least you can get somewhere if you don't have anything. Thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, people. Bye for now.